Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about fragrance primers. The particular brand I use is Canvas and Concrete, but I'm gonna be talking about my general thoughts on fragrance primers as a whole and what my experiences have been with this bottle. Um, it, it's kind of a controversial subject, fragrance primers, because some people see it as just tasteless vanity. Some people see it as just a, a marketing sales gimmick. I think there's a lot of truth to it. I actually believe the product to be very effective um, you just have to go into it with expectation management of, you know, you got to be realistic with it here. It's not going to be a life-changing product, but it's very interesting because it prevents your skin chemistry from interacting with the fragrance itself. It creates a barrier. Some people say it's like a spray-on glue. I think it's more of like a liquid bandage. If you ever use a liquid bandage before, that kind of creates that kind of slick and sticky layer surface it's kind of what it is it's not annoying though it's you're not going to feel like your skin pulling or anything when you're moving around it's just very uh slick and smooth not slippery um maybe a little glossy but no one would pick it up and it's easy for you to spray on there and when you put your perfume on there or fragrance whatever you want to call it it lasts longer and it projects better that's my long story short um there's a lot more to it because some notes uh, on some different skin chemistries um some notes appear and some don't like mine in particular uh fruity things fruity notes on my skin get absorbed i just did a zoologist chameleon review and something that a lot of people say is it, it's very floral and fruity and i do get floral and fruity but the the fruit that people talk about i don't get as much and i've noticed that in other just fragrances as well as my skin absorbs fruity notes. I don't think it's uh, gimmicky. Maybe it's just something to do with the sweetness or a particular aroma chemical, something like that. Um, I don't think my skin is just biased toward no fruit, but um, you know, everyone's experience is different. With this, it kind of lay, levels the playing field and then I get the full roundness of the fragrance, the full complexity of the fragrance. It lasts longer because my skin's not absorbing it. It's not being metabolized by my skin. Correct me if I'm wrong, maybe metabolize isn't the wrong, right word, but I think it's kind of what's going on. Um, projection will be better. Longevity will be better. Um, how much better? I would say 25, 30%. It's not going to completely redefine it, but it's gonna give you a little more bang for your buck on your fragrance. I think it's one of, you know, one of the selling points for this is, oh, you don't need as many sprays, so your fragrance will last longer. It's economical. And that's maybe a little markety, but it's also somewhat true. You don't need as many sprays. Um, and it just depends on what you're using. You know, if you're using Eros or whatever, you're still going to spray eight sprays anyway. It doesn't matter if you're using this or not, right? But if you're using, you know, something I use a lot is Nasamato, um, and those are x rates So they're, they're very potent. You only need one on each side, but the, the complexity of them, and that's debatable. We're not talking about that in this video, but... The, the complexity of them really shows when I use something like this, um, a fragrance primer. Um, and I'm not here to sell it or anything. It's just my experiences with it. Um, I would recommend it to anybody. It's 20 bucks for this 100 milliliter bottle. You just gotta, you know, I, I'd say about spray, 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 spray. So, you know, two on each side of the neck or wherever you wanna put it. Um, give it a nice little foundation, a base coat, if you will, to apply your fragrance. Wait like a minute maybe a minute and a half, then apply it. Don't apply it right away. You have to let it kind of dry and then your foundation is set and you can put it there. Um, so for a lot of applications, if you're someone who wants the complexity of your fragrance to show, this is good for it. If you're someone who wants something to last the whole day, maybe you're, you know, you're working, you're out 10, 12 hours. Who, I mean, I don't know your shift, but if you want it to last the entire day, this can buy you a couple more hours. Um, if you're a club bro and you're late in an event, this is lacking and you, you really want it to do that projection, uh, this, is, this could be a good product for you or any other fragrance primer. I don't use it for everything. I use it um, typically for my more expensive stuff, not to just flaunt it, um, but so I can fully enjoy it and get what the perfumer had in mind out of it. And at the projection and the longevity help, you know, uh, that's great. You know, I spent the money on this. I, I really want to enjoy it. And it's not necessarily my fault. Um, my skin is a fruit sponge. <laughs> I go, uh, we're, we're not, we're not going to use that phrase. But um, yeah, it's, uh, 
it's been a good product for me. As you can see, I've barely used it. Um, and that's not to me, I, I had a sample of it before, so it's not, I'm not like being a complete hypocrite here. I had like a 10 milliliter sample of this, so I'm now just starting to tap into the bottle. Um, and this is something that'll last a long time. You don't need to use it all the time, you know, if it's just a whatever thing and it, it doesn't matter, just a couple sprays or a couple sprays, then that's fine. Um, this, this is for someone who really wants to enjoy the fragrance they have on. Um, because if you've just got a mindless clubbing fragrance, um, th this would be pointless unless you really want that performance boost. And then this would be useful. It does a little bit of, it, do, it does a little bit for everybody. And that's why I'd recommend it. It's cheap. Um, not this, there, there's tons of brands. I'm not shilling this brand specifically. This is what I got at a good price. That's what I went with. Um, and you know, most people have good experiences with this particular one. So th that's what I went with. Um, I'd recommend it. Anyways, until next time, guys.